Hey, this is the Xingdao Explorer. Are you ready to go explore Xingdao with me? Let's go. Vanguard grocery store and I'm going to show you what it's like to uh, just see what you can buy there and what the prices are and how there are some Chinese items and American items and European items and uh, if they ask me to stop filming I'm going to stop because you know I'm a guest in this country and uh, I don't want to ruin that uh, relationship we have I like it here so let's go on in and see what we got Like toys for kids, they have a toy section. Right. You'll see some of the uh, knockoff goods too. Right, like like see right here. This is the Ninjager movie from Teenma. And then they got Woma. Right, it's obviously a Lego knockoff. They got also got Jigo. And Goody. Very cool. <laughs> to me, it's all fun and games, you know. It's just a brick toy. Oh, can't go anywhere without a chainsaw, of course. As you can see, tennis is big here, so is badminton. Um, I don't think volleyball is that big. I don't think it is. It's soccer that's really big and basketball too. Yeah, baseball, football, and hockey don't have as much of a pull here. Uh, probably none at all, to be honest. All right, get some prices. When I saw this video before, you know, I really wanted to show prices. I really wanted the person to show prices because, you know, Hey, you might actually need this. They don't have dryers in China. It's pretty tough to find a dryer. But for 169 RMB, you can get your own little stand to hang up all your clothes and things like that. Right. They come in all various price ranges. All right. 199. This one's only 79 RMB. For what looks like a pretty good pot, actually. I'm not even buy that myself. Hot water storage. Got all your spoons, spatulas. I just want to show this right over here for you. They have forks and knives, of course, but chopsticks are obviously a big one. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> well, in case you need your forks and knives and things like that, they do have them. Right, here's an example of a fork and knife set, 29. This one's even cheaper. It's 15 RMB. You get a fork, a spoon, and two chopsticks. Hey, not bad. Up. It's not like they don't have that. This is a knockoff either. Clean, clear, deep action, ponds, Nivea for men. Pure fresh. 
Here's a big one I'm sure people care about, shampoo. So let's see, Dove Nutrient Moisture. It's only 26 RMB, right? Dove Cucumber, <laughs> again, 26 RMB. You got your Adidas body washes, things like that. Safeguard. Never heard of Safeguard, I think it's a Chinese brand. Head and shoulders. Obviously a big one out here. Pantene. I haven't seen Pantene. I can't believe it. Yeah, this one looks like it's pretty expensive though. It's like 63 RMB. So uh, in case you're wondering, hey, you got two fishes? Yeah, of course. I do. <laughs> You got all the brands you like too, like Colgate, right? And 24 RMB, that's like three and a half dollars. Right? They even have electric toothbrushes. This one is 39.90. That's about six bucks, and you get an electric toothbrush. But of course, they have your toothpastes too. Colgate, Colgate, Colgate. And Colgate. <laughs> so they have all those types of things. Listerine as well. There's Listerine. It's 38 RMB for a bottle about that big. 500 milliliters. I'm thinking. When you first come to China, if you're going to stay here for a long time, you're definitely going to get head out this section because you're going to get your pillows and your sheet cushions. So, things to cover your bed with. They are not fitted sheets. I have to say that right away. They're not fitted sheets. Right? These quilts are nice. A bit expensive, but they're nice. I mean, especially if you just need something to lay over. Make you feel good in those first few weeks before you get maybe like a mattress pad online. Charging cables. These are definitely going to be in handy. In case you're wondering what's the standard, right, like a uh, plug here in China. Oh, these are actually kind of new. I've actually never seen these before. I've never seen the triple right here. But in case you're wondering, right, this would be what you have. So you have the two prongs that you could plug in a double prong electrical cord. Uh, and then this is the normal one. It has this one, this one, and this one right here in the middle. That's the standard Chinese outlet. So if you have a three prong plug, you need some kind of converter and you need to make sure that the voltage is correct. That's a better representation of what we're talking about here. The three prongs, one, two, and three. Right, and these, they'll set you back a little bit, but they're definitely worth it because sometimes space for plugs is just so uh, limited. Okay, or probably Europe. Tide, here you go. And even Tide detergent. Tide detergent here is about 58.90. This is the section I really want to show you. Right, this is the foreign food aisle. As you can see here, they have your sauces, and Thousand Island dressing, and here's your pickles and ketchup, right? Obviously, it's more expensive, right? I mean, I don't think pickles are 450 in America. Maybe it's been a while. Sauce is definitely a bit cheaper too, but it's like just having olive oil, you know? Well, that's definitely way too expensive. Olive oil is normally 58 here. I, I know a place where I get it. Look at that. Hershey syrup, 25. Boom. Problem solved. You know, in case you're in the need to have you know, a child and, or your child yourself or you just enjoy having chocolate on your ice cream or something like that. You have spaghetti, right? Pasta, 15 RMB. I can get this in America, right? Regina, Regia, 15 RMB. Here's your breakfast cereals. Be careful with these though. They aren't like Cheerios. They're a bit thicker. These are the ones that I normally get, just Frosted Flakes or Kellogg's. Yeah, they're more expensive, but that's because milk isn't a big thing here in China. Uh, there is cheaper oatmeal downstairs. You don't need to get that stuff. Right. Another culture shock, if you will, is the fact that milk is left out. Oh my god, won't it spoil? No, it's, it's not going to spoil. It's totally fine. It, they leave milk out for a long time. It's until you chill it, then it starts to you know, spoil a bit, you know, when you open it, it really starts to spoil, right? But it tastes fine. Um, some of these are okay. Uh, we used to get this one, 
right? Then I found this Swiss brand milk that was really, really good at another one of the grocery stores. But for, I mean, nine RMB, for like, a, if it's like one liter, nine RMB, it's a buck fifty for a liter. That's not bad. I mean, it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Here are the drinks. I'm going to get my Gatorade in a second. And so you got juices, pear juice, apple juice, uh, orange juice, compounds, grape juice, peach juice. This one's actually really good, the peach juice. I like that stuff. Capri Sun! Can you believe that? They have Capri Sun here. Look at that, Capri Sun. Been a while, right? Boba milk tea. This is a favorite of our students. It's pretty good too, actually. I, I don't mind it myself. This one right here, coconut milk. Right, you can get this at the store down by where I live. No, you're not going to find that anywhere else. Especially at $3.50. That's actually a really good price. Normally at a convenience store, it costs you $5.50. And I, I say $3.50, but I really mean 50 cents. I mean, I just compare it to Mexico. It's really no different there. Some people might be grossed out by this, but I mean, you're gonna cook it. So, here's some of the prices in case you're wondering. Like, I can't read those. I'm assuming that that's like per pound or per kilogram. If you want to fish, they'll chop it off for you, clean it up. But uh, to be honest, I never have. I mean, if I just if I want to eat out, I'll just have somebody make it for me instead live fish section. This is stuff you probably care about, and that's yogurt. And you're saying, oh, I want some cold milk. Well, they do have cold milk. Right. It's a bit more expensive, but it's, it's milk. And it's still not the best quality milk. We got yogurt here, they have milks and yogurts and milks and yogurts and milks and yogurts. And China is growing on their taste for milk. They actually Enjoy the stuff even more. Shopping it up at the uh, Vanguard store on the third and second floor of the uh, Oriental Castle. When I checked out, you know, you just use WeChat Pay, WeShin, right, or Jerfubao, which is Alipay. Um, and uh, they don't have self checkout here, so lines are a little long, but uh, other than that, no, it's pretty straightforward. Just pay. They usually ask for a phone number or if you want a Daitsa, which is a bag, right? Not today for me, I don't need it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just head on out to the bus. So uh, thanks for uh, exploring Xingdao with me today and uh, keep on exploring.